Hi everybody, Jake here for FM Scout. Welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you guys how to never ever miss a wonder kid in your football manager saves. Just to let you guys know, this video will likely be a bit shorter than the usual video. There's not too much to go into, I'm just going to quickly go over some of the more basic tips and then I'll go into my big tip that I think not enough people know about. I reckon 80-90% to 90 of football manager players aren't doing this, whether by choice or whether they don't know about it, I'm not sure. But I'm going to show you that trick towards the end of the video, but we'll start off just covering the basics. But before we do, I'd like to just ask you guys, if you do enjoy this kind of content, if you do find this useful, if the trick is news to you, then hit the like button on the video and comment down below how you discover all of your wonder kids in your saves, just so everyone can look in the comments and get as many ideas as they can. On top of that, then if you haven't already, then hit the subscribe button on the channel. You can change your mind at any point, and you hitting that button really helps those guys out so if you could do that then that'd be awesome but let's get straight into the video let's cover the basics as quickly as possible but just by doing these simple tricks you can get players like this guy so so young a great one the kid that we picked up and this wasn't even using the special tip that i'm going to teach you later but the easiest thing to do is firstly if you're not assigning your scouts and you don't want to do that but make sure you hit this tab here where you can kind of filter what the scouts are going to bring back to you change the age range to 15 to 21 or 15 to 22 whatever you're looking for that way they'll return mostly anyway younger players for your guys sides now on the other side of that if you guys are controlling your own scouting responsibilities and scouting assignments i suggest this is the best way to do things because you're more likely to get the kind of player that you want but it's perfectly up to you i know some people don't really want to do that and spend all their time sorting their assignments out but it doesn't take too long with these scouts depending on how many you've got you'll want to cover different regions of the world whether that's uh, south america or northern europe whatever it may be and you can just customize it as you can see here we've got someone in central europe someone in western africa and then on top of that you can filter it even down further by asking them to only return the best players from a certain age group so as you can see central europe if we go to edit assignment what we've done here is we are looking for players in central europe as mentioned where their age is 21 their scouted potential is very good so that's going to be four stars plus i think or maybe four and a half i can't remember off the top of my head it depends on what kind of quality level you guys are looking for but at lil here five years in in my little save which if you want to check that out that's on my channel linked in the description we are one of the best clubs in the world right now so we want only the best players to join so we're looking for the very best wonder kids another method to find wonder kids but not only that but to pick up wonder kids for a bargain price is to use a scout the world technique to do this all you want to do is click the globe icon up near the fm button hit world and then you're going to find transfers from transfers you can filter it down to youth intake i believe yes there you go youth intake and you can see the youth intakes from all the clubs around the world depending on how many leagues you have loaded there's going to be more players in here to scout what you then do is you go down and you scout as many as you want if you want to be a bit more picky you can only scout certain leagues maybe you just want english players so you scout the English teams when their youth takes come in, which come in at different points throughout the year, depending on what clubs you're looking at. So as you can see, this is in 2025 in January. And then if we go down to about April time, March time, the French clubs are picking up their players, the German clubs are picking up their youth intake. And the chances are if you scout them and check this weekly or monthly and make a note of the clubs that you might want to check out that have good facilities that could potentially produce good youngsters, let's say Red Star out in Serbia nearly always produce good youngsters. From there, scout their youth intake, see what comes through. If any of them take your fancy, you can try and pick them up early before they sign a long-term deal with the club. So that's a way that you can get plenty of young players from around the world without really letting too many slip through the net if you have the time for that. But yeah, a, a smaller version of this, a smaller scale version that requires less effort is just to search up a country that you think might produce good youngsters let's say spain in this example go to their national team and search their under 21 and under 18 squads you can do this with all the best national teams in the world by just going like this clicking let's say you want to look at turkey they're under 18s you can do it that way and that way you can try and find their best young players check the ones with the highest value but now i'm going to show you the tip that i made this whole video for when i saw it out and around i thought i didn't even do that myself and i think it's a very good tip if you want to do it this way some would say it's an exploit that's up to you if you want to use it. I'm just bringing it to your guys' attention in case you want to just trim down your time and not spend so much time scouting the world, for example. Before I do go and show you guys a tip, don't forget to like the video if you are enjoying. And if you haven't already, then feel free to check out my channel linked in the description. We've just hit 2,500 subscribers. This is our little save, which is now finished. And we are starting a Lazio save. If you're seeing this after it's been uploaded, chances are the Lazio save has just started. We're just starting episode one today. And if you're seeing this on release, then in a couple of hours, the first episode will be out. So if you want to head over to my channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to watch a new FM series, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. And yeah, checking it out would mean a lot to me. 
But let's get on with the tip. And it all comes down to how you view squad players or just players in general. So the way that you usually see players in your game is through the general format that it shows you. You've got your positioning, your name, uh, where they're picked for, their height, blah, 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 all that information. However, you can customize these views to be however you like. You can show star rating, whatever it may be. I don't think a lot of people do do this. But one thing you can do is if you click filter, hit general, you can go to media description and add that in. Now what this is going to do is alongside your players, it's going to show you who the Wonder Kids are in their media description. So if you filter it, you can see we've got four Wonder Kids here at Lil. Okay, that's great, but how does that help us find Wonder Kids that aren't at the club? You just want to save this view, so we're just going to rename it because it's already saved as a media description. I'm embarrassed by how long it took me to type description there, but there you go. That's our media description view. Now all we're going to do is do exactly what we did before in our squad screen, but here in the player search screen. So you go custom, customize current view, filter it down to general, I believe it was, yes it was, hit media description and add it to the fields that you will be shown when looking at players. Once you've confirmed that, again, if you want to save it, feel free, but you will be able to see the media description of all the players in your save. Now, if we filter by that, it will go in alphabetical order, I believe. Let's have a look. So it's starting off, if we scroll all the way to the top, it is starting off at attacking fullback. So we want to look for Wonder Kid, which is on the opposite side. In my opinion, this isn't realistic at all because we're just going to get the names of every single player considered a Wonder Kid. But some of you guys don't care about realism. I know that some of you just want to find some good players to use in your guys' saves. But here we go. We can see we are filtering the other way around and it starts off with Young Winger. I've got plenty of players in my saves. So I'm just going to scroll through until the first Wonder Kid appears. Okay, guys, here we are. As you can see, we've just got past Young attacking midfielder plenty of the way into the list. And now we are finding all the players labeled as Wonder Kid. So if we can scroll down, you can see there is plenty of them. Now, if you want to find an easier way of getting to these, I filtered it out so we didn't have any older players in. But as you can see, we've now found every single player labeled as a Wonder Kid in your saves. You're never going to miss one. I say do this every transfer window, every year, whatever you like. Then you can get them all, add them to a shortlist. There's more than 35, but I'm not going to get every single one. Add them to a shortlist scout them, figure out which ones are good for you and the chances are even if you just want to look here you can see the ones that are at a club that maybe won't ask for as much money as we can see there's a guy playing for Red Star here chances are he's going to be cheaper than a player playing for Arsenal and at the age of 19 we've just gone and found a Serbian wonder kid goalkeeper a four star current ability apparently looks like a very good player wanted by the likes of Tottenham and PSG that is a way that you guys can find every single wonder kid because it's actually labeled as it in your guys save like I say it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to find every single good player because there's some younger players that might not be labeled as a wonder kid that will go on and do really well and some players that are loaded with a media description of wonder kid but then actually don't turn out that great so there is still that line to be crossed but I think if you just get all these put them in a short list hit the scout button on every single one of them maybe 15 20 of them will look like good signings and then you've got some players to sign in your save and you didn't miss a single wonder kid like I say do it every six to twelve months and you'll find pretty much everyone in your save that should go on to be a top player. So there you go, guys. That's how to never miss a Wonder Kid. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and have got some use out of this. To anyone who probably knows every single one of these tips, you're likely in the minority, so apologies for that if you already knew it, but the chances are that most people won't, so I'm sure there'll be another video where you'll find something out useful, but there you go. That's a transfer tip. Have any of you guys been using that to find your Wonder Kids? Do you think it's the right thing to do? Let me know. Don't forget to drop a like on the video and feel free to check out my channel for the new Lazio save. Hopefully as many of you can get on board with that first episode and see if you like it. One episode, see what you think and then decide afterwards. But I've been Jake for FM Scout. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.